Hello, everyone, welcome to Minecraft Genius 76 YouTube channel. Today, I am going to show you an advance and lots of fun to play feature in Minecraft that will be very handy when playing Minecraft survival mode. How to create your own bodyguards that follow you and protect you. And how to train your bodyguard to be better, to be better. First, let's see a demo on how this works. Here's, on his demo, I am the only player and I had 6 bodyguards prompting me, these bodyguards follow me everywhere I go and attack monster in the range. The guards will automatically shoot monster in a range or trying to attack me. They are wonderful personal bodyguards. You should have your own too. Here's the setups required to make this to work. A Minecraft server, craft bucket, installed with two plugins Citizen 2 and Sentry if you don't have your own Minecraft server, craft bucket, yet, no worry you can download here free, https colon slash slash dl dot bucket dot org slash downloads slash craft bucket. Please see video description for more details. Instruction for installation and setup of the server is very straightforward. You just need to save the craft bucket server jar file into a directory and launch with a java command, java, jar craft bucket 1.7.2.jar, oh false. After complete installation and setup of the Minecraft server, next you need to download two plugins Citizen 2 and Sentry. Please see video descriptions for plugins download links. Next drop both download plugin jars files under plugin folder, unzip it first. Then restart your Minecraft server, double check make sure no errors on server startup. Now, connect to a PC, Mac Minecraft to this server then we are ready to have fun and start creating your own personal bodyguards. Personal bodyguard. There are only 6 simple steps of commands. Step 1. Create a sentry, this is the plugin name for this virtual character, let's say name bodyguard1 type following command slash npc create bodyguard1. Bodyguard. Next, assign this character to be a sentry, a character with combat ability type following command slash trait sentry. Step 2. Set the targets for this bodyguard, type following command slash sentry target identity monster. Step 3. Set the ignore of owner for this bodyguard, using following command. So, bodyguard cannot harm their owner. Type following command slash sentry ignore add entity owner, entity owner. Step 4. Set a greeting message when we approaching the bodyguard in a range. Type following command slash sentry greeting hi. I am sentry then next set the warning range for sentry to speak slash sentry warning range 10 in range 10 
Step 5. Make Sentry your own personal bodyguard. Type following command slash Sentry Guard, your name. In this example, my name is Blue Apple. I will type following slash Sentry Guard Blue Apple. App Step 6. Give some equipment to your bodyguard to defend. Example, give bodyguard a bow with following command, slash sentry equip bow, bow. Congratulations. You now have a bodyguard that follow you around and protect you, around it. Demo. How about we train the bodyguards go faster, more stronger and tougher by turning following parameters? The following param- Step 1. Health. Default value is 20. We can increase this to bigger number so your bodyguard can take more hits. Let's make it stronger. Use following command slash century health 200,000 and Step 2. Armor. Default value is 0. We want to make armor of bigger value 1000 to make bodyguard very hard to hurt. Large number is better. Use following command slash century armor 1000. Step 3. Strength. Default is 1. This is the sentry does with each hit, regardless of weapons. Higher the better. Use following command slash sentry strength 20,000. Step 4. Range. Default is 10 blocks. This is the detection range for the bodyguard. Depends. Longer range minimize monster hitting you. Use following command slash sentry range 20. Step 5. Speed. This is the speed at which a sentry will move while pursuing a target. Minimal is 0.5 second. Faster is better. Use following command slash sentry speed 0.5. Step 6. Attack rate. This is the number of seconds between projectile shots. Minimal is 0.5 second. Faster is better. Use following command slash sentry attack rate 0.5. Step 7. Heal rate. This is the number of seconds between heals of 1 point. Values less than 1.0 are acceptable. Default is 0. No heal. We want faster number. Use following command. Slash sentry heal rate 0.5. Step 8. Night vision. This is how well the sentry can see potential targets in the dark. Default is 16. A value of 6 means the target is invisible. Let's make it 12. Use following command slash sentry night vision 12. Step 9. Respawn. Default is 10. When the bodyguard dies, this is the number of seconds after which it will respawn. Let's make this one. Use following command slash sentry respawn, sentry 1. Step 10. Follow. The number of blocks a bodyguard will follow behind its guard target. It can be closer for further away, set closer is better. Use following command slash sentry follow 3. Wow. These are great updates. Now, I have a super strong and powerfully bodyguard. If this is not enough, how about we clone four more of them? Use following command slash npc copy bodyguard one bodyguard two slash npc copy bodyguard one bodyguard three slash npc copy bodyguard one bodyguard four slash npc copy bodyguard one bodyguard five.
If this is not good yet, you can optionally mount a horse for the bodyguards with this command slash sentry mount this mount a horse to correct select bodyguard. Very cool, guard. Very cool. Okay, that is for today. Have fun with your personal bodyguards. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel Minecraft Genius 76. Thank you.